it's important that we keep pressing this issue until we can safely secure Andrew's release so that he can return home and get the proper medical attention he needs for the post-traumatic stress disorder he suffers from due to his two deployments in Afghanistan. This hearing is part of that effort to increase the awareness of the Tamarisi case and to signal that Congress will not rest until we bring back our Marine. This is first and foremost about doing the right thing for our brave men and women in uniform who serve this country. Many, like Andrew, return home and find that their combat tours led them to develop post-traumatic stress disorder. And being held in a Mexican prison without receiving the proper medical attention only makes a difficult medical problem more acute. Constituents of my congressional district, the Hammer family, faced a similar tragedy. In December 2012, I was contacted by the family of John Hammer, a Marine combat veteran who was also diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and was arrested and detained in a Mexican prison. John's mother, Olivia, took months to reach out to my office out of fear for her son's life. But once she did, we made it our mission to get John home as soon as possible. And by adding that public pressure, we were able to secure John's release. And because Olivia is one of the few who truly understands this ordeal and what Jill and Andrew are going through, I've agreed to submit her statement uh, on her behalf as part of the record of our Foreign Affairs Subcommittee briefing. Olivia has been tireless in her efforts advocating for Andrew's release and is the strength and the guidance of so many who are helping Jill and her family through these trying times so that they don't have to struggle passively. It's important that we include Olivia's story and that of her son John for the record today because there are so many similarities between the two cases and it matters because it helps us to understand the conditions Andrew faces and why we need to do everything we can to get him home immediately to his family and where he can get the proper treatment. In July, I met with Jill and Olivia in Miami, and I told them then, and I say it again now, the administration needs to be doing more to ensure Andrew's immediate release. Andrew's case should be the very first topic discussed between Obama administration officials and their Mexican counterparts. It should not be discussed on the periphery or just to check off an item on a list. But we saw the administration miss several opportunities, including the phone conversation between President Obama and President Peña Nieto in June, when President Obama did not take the initiative and demand Andrew's release. Andrew has now been languishing in a Mexican prison without proper care for 184 days and counting. Our colleague, Judge Poe, has introduced a resolution that I know many of us have co-sponsored, calling on the administration to do more to secure his release. And many of us have privately and publicly urged it to prioritize to bring Andrew home. Everyone in the administration, from the president to Secretary Kerry and the mid-level career officials at the State Department, must be advocating for Andrew's release and letting Mexico know that this is a priority for us that Andrew is an American war hero who served his country bravely and meritoriously, who needs treatment for his PTSD, and who must be brought home immediately. Tamarisi is the victim of an unfortunate set of circumstances, and his release is a humane way to garner goodwill between our two nations. It should not be up to the moms and to the families and to the friends to be up here in Congress pleading for us to press the administration to do more to secure Andrew's release. Frankly, I'm disgusted that it has had to come this far. Jill and the Tamarisi family have had to live through Andrew's combat tours, fighting for his country, and now this nightmare? Our country cannot turn his back on Andrew, for him, for his family, and for all of his brothers and sisters in uniform. We will fight to bring Andrew home.